Here we have an application of fraction multiplication. Matt was training for a marathon and had a 20 mile run. So that 20 miles is one of our givens, that's probably important. 20 mile run listed on his training calendar. If he only completed three quarters of the run, so that's how far he ran, how far did he go? So let's see, uh, we have a given of a 20 mile run that was scheduled And we also have a given that he completed three-fourths of the run. Our goal is to determine how far Matt actually ran. So let's say, how far did Matt run? Now, our math work on this, in mathematics, when we see an expression such as three-fourths of the run. The of for us usually means multiplication. So let's try multiplying 3 fourths times 20 and see if that gives us a result that makes sense. So 3 fourths times 20 is 3 fourths times, let's write that as 20 over 1, and I'm going to write 20 as 4 times 5 because I see I have a 4 in the denominator of the first fraction. So the 4 and the 4 are common factors. That's going to leave me with 3 times 5 is 15 over 1, and go ahead and make that 15. So 3 quarters of 20 is 15. Let's see if that makes sense from a little bit more intuitive perspective. And I'm going to put this as my check. If I break 20 into four pieces, that's 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. That would be 20, right? So three of those four pieces would be 5 plus 5 plus 5. So 3 quarters of 20 is indeed 15, and our result makes sense. So our final result as a complete sentence then, to respond back to our goal, is that Matt ran 15 of the scheduled 20 miles. And there's a little statement here at the bottom, and we talked about this at the beginning of the application. In mathematics, the word of often implies multiplication, as shown in the example above. So remember, when you see of, it usually means multiply.